हेलो एंड वेलकम टू क्या लग रहा है मार्केट आर डेली शो ऑन निफ्टी बैंक निफ्टी एंड यू एस डी एन आर सो इन दिस शो वी लुक इन दिस फिफ्टीन मिनट यूट्यूब प्रोग्राम यूट्यूब वीडियो नॉट अ शो वी लुक एट यू एस डी एन आर यू वी लुक एट निफ्टी वी लुक एट बैंक निफ्टी वी लुक एट वेर द मार्केट इज क्वेश्चन वी लुक एट ओपन इंटरेस्ट चार्ट एंड एफ आई आई डी आई डेटा वी ट्राई टू फिगर आउट वॉट इज द मार्केट मोस्ट लाइकली टू डू इन द डेज टू कम एंड वी ट्राई टू हैव एन इनफॉर्म्ड ओपिनियन ऑन what is likely to happen and how will we react to whatever it is that happens hi anil hi current hi everyone hi raj hi baskar so let's look at yesterday's analysis so we were talking about this resistance at yesterday's high if it breaks nifty can test the gap fill and 50 dma and if today's close is broken uh the first target is 16150 to 16 16200 odd levels if it's not broken it can retrace and we were thinking that uh high chances of expiry above 5900 very high chances above i mean i think this is not even 5900 it went above 16100 in fact so super mega uh bullish expiry pcr was indicating bullish fi data was indicating bullish futures data indicated bullish long term data which is stock was mildly negative uh largely the uh, re- regardless of the view we thought it's a good idea to do light positions in spreads or you know risk defined strategies but you know don't we wish that we just had a lot of otm calls today this is one of those days so three portals is saying it is best expiry today uh, usha is saying bears are sleeping i think bears have been murdered i think it's way beyond sleeping now uh, bear gang waiting to pounce yes yes we are all waiting but uh, but i don't think we should try to become big a bear gang as such i think we should just be people who try to react to market uh, but anyway uh, let's look at what nifty is up to now right so like we talked about yesterday uh, but unfortunately it was difficult to trade what we said yesterday because even if you traded uh, the open it was almost near that 50 dma right so <clears throat> we saw the open we go went till bottom and then we went again and close. i mean there was no it was not tradable unless you decided to buy this morning's dip but that was also not a very easy thing to do unless you were trading hourly candles because in hourly candles uh today probably but it, it's very difficult here i mean in the sense that it's easy to say with hindsight bias ki nahi nahi ye to obvious a long tha that's not the case it was not an obvious long uh, yesterday evening uh i mean yesterday evening probably yes uh, at least we could have sold 5900 5800 to kind of puts but longing this morning is was not very easy um, and let us see what is in store for tomorrow so now the catch is this right see market is not a shorting market that is very clear but if you are long there are the following things you have to be careful of this was a gap right the bottom of this gap is around 16170 16170 180 right and then it fell and it fell and fell and it rose and now it has filled the gap so also the 50 dma has formed also if you look at this candle today is actually a very tiny paper umbrella now it's not a great paper umbrella because if a very good paper umbrella would have formed with a big shadow and a big size and all that but we have a tiny paper umbrella which usually says ki you know there is a pause coming i'm not saying there is a reversal i'm not asking to short but if you are long you have to be careful about what happens here why because there is a gap fill coming there is a uh, 50 day moving average coming there is a paper umbrella coming now if you look at sgx nifty sgx nifty is already at 16 250 levels and all but that's cheating right because today at uh, 330 all we knew was that sgx nifty was at around 16140 so this we can't take into consideration and predict tomorrow's market where yaar wo to koi bhi kar sakta usme kya hai right and you we never know till the market is over right because sgx nifty looked bad two days back but looked at how market came back so forget looking at dow or you know snp or because whatever is happening there now will already be factored in tomorrow morning what we have to be careful is uh uh so what we have to be careful is now if we are long in case we are long right what do we do now so there is a gap fill coming there is a 50 dma there is a paper umbrella so i'll be a little careful so here's a catch right there's a chance for a pause or a slight dip there there's a caution exercise but if this gap fill is sustained right so tomorrow so already it has broken out of this thing 
but we have to be careful with this breakout because earlier also we have seen many suspected breakouts fizzle out my point being that if this does not sustain then we can see a test of 15900 odd levels again but if it does sustain and if it closes with volumes above the level of gap fill then we can see a rally and that rally can perhaps go all the way to 16600 and this uh, blue line which is the 100 dma which also coincides with the middle of the trend line right this is this trend line which is the middle now uh, there is one more interesting thing here if you see this there is a breakout which has happened here which is this level there is a small gap here now that gap also is this gap so i'm going to point that out nevertheless because you can see this right there is this consolidation then there's a single candle and suddenly there's a gap fill and then there is a but this is a gap fill there's a gap fill here this gap fill so i'm not saying that this is a short here but if you are long please be careful about the gap fill yes but if it closes above the gap fill level if it sustains above 16 200 with volumes on a date close basis then we can be in for some real fireworks all the way to 16 600 but 16 600 is what another 400 points left right so that is nifty charts now let's look at bank nifty charts bank nifty charts uh, yesterday also we were i mean we were talking about this a couple of days back that bank nifty looks way stronger than nifty and that's exactly how it played out bank nifty was much much stronger than nifty there's a huge gap so now again right uh, there is a possibility that i mean i won't be surprised if it goes all the way to the top of this channel but i'm not saying that is a target all i'm saying is that it has broken out it can test 35248 which is the 35300 odd levels which is the uh, uh, 100 dma if it sustains and go further these are the levels to watch but because tomorrow is a weekly expiry we have to look at what the weekly candle is up to at this stage and this is very very interesting so honestly that 5900 breaking it will create a rally is the original view which we would have stuck on but day before yesterday's crazy action kind of put a dent in my own rate which was probably incorrect of me because the fun part is this right uh, for a long time our analysis was always that if 5900 breaks long jaw right but i think the crazy mad action that we saw on 6th july um, kind of changed my view Pro probably the, that is where i made a mistake in my analysis so i think uh, the original view without the noise which came on that crude oil 10 percent day that probably might have made more sense if it breaks 5900 above long if it is below short right so as of now it has it is above 5900 it's sustaining market has a long bias we should probably stick to that till market tells you to reverse now weekly candle is super interesting because this is a bullish harami this was a confirmation of the bullish harami and now we have a bullish engulfing candle on weeklies now the catch is a bullish engulfing candle forming at the top of an uptrend does not necessarily mean as good a bullish momentum as a bullish engulfing candle forming at the bottom of a downtrend so if you look at this candle right this is a bullish engulfing candle at the bottom of a downtrend this was succeeded by a lot of action right similarly if you look at um, this bearish engulfing right this was a bearish engulfing that did not play out well why it was at the bottom of the downtrend now people say that bullish engulfing can be a continuous pattern also it can be a reversal pattern also but a continue a reversal pattern bullish engulfing is something i've seen which plays out more right but let's make a mental note that okay here is a bullish harami here is a confirmation candle here is a bullish engulfing so weekly candle also has a longish bias it is not a shortish bias at all so there is no point in going short here and with the kind of very ferocious movement which is happening right see in a slow market you need big position to capture a lot of points in a very violent market even if your position size is small you can capture a lot of points so again right with the kind of movement which we are seeing in the last few days even if your position size is light there can be quite a killing to make again just uh, you know uh, this 
horizontal line which we are talking about it's not a proven resistance or anything it is just a line of caution because itna bada support nifty ne isliye nahi pakda ki pehle hi resistance mein aake ruk jaye there can be further momentum this line is not to tell you that it's going to reverse from here this line is only to tell you that you have to exercise caution on your longs here right Uh, this is not a reversal point reversal happens when we get a confirmation for reversal so if tomorrow of the market opens gap up and then it closes below and forms a red candle engulfing this that's a bullish engulfing sorry bearish engulfing in which case we can short like you can't short a resistance because there is a line there you have to short it only if there is price action there right so wait for price action if tomorrow there is negative price action this support resistance might be there but as of now there is no proof it is there for the simple reason that we haven't seen any price action right there is 50 dma there is paper umbrella but both of these need confirmation so please don't short here tomorrow see the price action and the market will tell you what to do right that's a more important thing so monthly weekly candle looks bullish daily candle there is a paper umbrella there might be a resistance be cautious if that resistance is broken we can again be long with risk defined spreads or buy call or anything and the target could be up to 16600 right now let's look at weekly of bank nifty also this is super interesting it's a very strong bearish sorry bullish marubozo it has taken support at the uh, 100 weekly moving average and that it has strongly gone up this is a bullish candlestick pattern there is no question about that so bank nifty on a weekly candle is also giving early signs of extremely bullish behavior okay. sorry the only thing which is not adding up to the overall picture is dollar because dollar yesterday looked like it might form a reversal but today dollar closed above today's open it was almost up quarter percent or uh, 0.3 percent or something so dollar is still a curve ball but it is not always necessary that nifty goes down when dollar goes up they have both gone up together so for example if you take a long enough timeline right between 2011 and 2022 dollar went up from 45 2010 and 2022 dollar went from 45 to 80 and also nifty went from 5000 to so it can happen usually there is an inverse correlation but it's not always necessary right but so dollar is going up so net net so this is the chart read option chain and pcr is not important today because it is only the first day of expiry but we'll write it down anyway 16200 call has a lot of open interest but i won't take it seriously because it's only day one uh, pcr is 1.2 but again that's a bullish number but again day one of expiry FII option data is where things are a little confusing. So if you look at this, they sold calls today and bought puts today. Now the in the otherwise extremely bullish picture of the market, there is one blip. Also, the gap between call and put has increased today, slight widening. Again, uh, index futures they bought, but futures OI fell almost by thousand crores, right? And stocks they sold 1000 crores almost which is again back to selling mode so net net option data of fi is negative because they sold call and bought puts uh, sold a lot of calls bought a little bit of puts futures data is conflicting because futures they bought oi dropped uh, stock data back to 1000 crores selling mode so i mean uh, that's a long term view so there's nothing short term to take away from that so our verdict is it's a mixed signal time to exercise caution on longs keep position light and um the trade is we have to look at the price action tomorrow if it closes above 16180 or above that you know uh, 50 dma with strong volumes then it is definitely bullish otherwise i won't say short it then it could be just consolidating <laughs> but a close above 16180 is definitely going to be continued action on the bullish side if it does not close above 16180 i won't short if it closes tomorrow with negative price action with a reversal candle or something then we can think of shorting but tomorrow you have to be long if 16180 is broken but again if the open itself happens right so i'm talking about this on a day close basis so if the open itself tomorrow happens at 16250 you can't go buy at that level um 
if you get an entry so if it opens at 16 250 or something comes down uh, consolidate somewhere near 16 180 Wahape, if you see some bullish action on an intraday chart then you can try going long with 16 180 that uh, 50 dma as a stop loss and see where it goes and if the day's eod closing happens above 16 180 then you can be long right don't be long right at the open because that's a bad idea it can be a gap up which might not sustain so if tomorrow's friday evening close happens above 16 180 with decent volumes you can be long otherwise don't be short because be short only when the reversal signal comes right so just wait on the sidelines if you are having a short bias i know you might want to short the market even i want to do that but it's important that the level at which we are attempting to short is correct right because we can't go on a short thinking that your market ko 15000 jana hai because uske pehle agar 16600 gaya to we'll end up taking a lot of uh, stop loss you'll take up a lot of mtm and it's very stressful and anxiety inducing but if let the market play it out if you are having a fundamental bearish bias and if you don't want to go long don't go long now but please don't short before it is the time to short right and if you have a genuine long bias you can stay on that bias with caution till the market says a reversal uh, important point is trend right now is long so stay long if the market gives a reversal signal then we'll see from there if market gives strong closings every strong closing is an opportunity to consolidate the position and look for the next move upwards right so let's just uh, uh, let's just read some user comments quickly um, yeah vivek is saying uh, daily candle is looking like a hanging man that is correct vivek it is a hanging man bar paper umbrella paper umbrella akash is saying gap up tomorrow yes akash it's very likely it's a gap up tomorrow but we don't know for a fact we'll only know when tomorrow it opens uh, Kamal is saying he had overnight call sold in the morning. Yeah, I wish you hadn't. Oh, but but you made money in the morning. That's great, right? Uh, US markets are up. That's correct. That's correct. Bank Nifty Pom Pom is asking, what about Bank Nifty up gap up or gap down? Yeah, it is stronger than Nifty for sure. So yep, that is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, somebody had asked for a reliance analysis. I think that played out well. I mean, after moving up a little bit, it crashed again. So, so yep, that is our analysis for today. We'll see you again on uh, uh, Sunday. Devi is asking, did I exit my long shots? I ex partially booked some losses on half my position, to be honest. It, it hurt quite a bit, but then, you know, you can't be in this business if you are not happy to book. I mean, if you are not willing to book your losses <laughs> so so anyway this is our analysis for today we'll see you again on sunday as usual this is not a tips or advice or anything it's just analysis so that you can do this on yourself and decide your own trades most important thing is always have stop losses always have risk management always in a very volatile market always try to do risk defined spreads and trades which come with protection so on that note i'll take your leave we'll see you again on sunday take care good night and please keep your capital